Kanan dulu. Tuh, dua, tiga, empat. 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 Ya, ya, ya. It's seven o'clock on Sunday morning. Boot camp in the back lots of Jakarta. Stand commit untuk menyuarakan perlawanan. Gue minta lu harus kuat fisik dan mental lu gitu. They look like a militia loyal to their commander. But these are just football fans. These drills are about getting their team to win and getting home alive. They are supporters of Jakarta's one and only football club, Persija Jakarta. They are millions strong and call themselves Jackmania. Persija itu bagi gua segalanya ya. Jackmania commander Irlan Alarantia's group is known as Garis Keras, literally the hardliners. Makanya Persija saya mati ya udah kita sporter ya, nggak ada mantan atau eksporter. Sporter adalah selama lamanya gitu. Every club has dozens of commanders like Irlan. They lead small armies of fanatical foot soldiers to matches across the Indonesian archipelago. Well, it's just after midday. They've already walked through the streets here in Jakarta. They're cramming onto this bus on their way to a match. Permisi. The Indonesian Liga Satu, or First League, is made up of 18 clubs. Rivalries between fans can be fierce and violent. Sebenarnya sih kita awalnya ketika berdiri nggak ada musuh gitu ya. Dan karena jak mania makin besar makin banyak ya biasa lah pasti ada orang yang nggak suka gitu kan ya. Jack Mania's arch rivals are the Vikings from the neighboring city of Bandung. Clubs share a history of battles both on and off the pitch. Pas gua gabung ke sporter Jackmania, ya itu tadi karena ada rival gitu ya, ada rivalitas dengan tetangga. Ya pasti kalau tuh ribet lah. Berapa kali dulu, apalagi dulu masih muda ya, masih emosinya masih membara gitu. Not only are the fans in danger, the players are regularly transported to games in armoured personnel carriers. To many outsiders, Indonesian fan mania is stranger than fiction. Andy Bakhtia Yusuf is one of Indonesia's biggest filmmakers. As a proud Jakartan, football is in his blood. For me, football changed my life. Uh, it's been my passion. My, my, yeah, I used to be the same like them. I think back in 2001, uh, I was there with my stick and fought. My passion to football, I transformed it into my film. His first movie, The Jack, featured a baby-faced but clearly militant Irlan. Irlan is a very passionate. As far as I know, he used to be a, a Islam fundamentalist, but now he's a Persija fundamentalist. Each of Yusuf's 12 films, including recent hit Love for Sale, features the world game. Take on Shakespeare highlighted the sometimes violent Jakarta-Bandung rivalry. 
in 2008, I shoot Romeo and Juliet. It's basically Romeo and Juliet, but then the Jakarta's boy and the uh, uh, Bandung's girl. And then Bandung people said, you can't screen your film here. I think because it was made by uh, Jakartans. But then my producer said, uh, why don't you go to Bandung and ask them politely to watch the film so we can release it there. Uh, I wasn't there. What? But they were waiting for me in the cafe uh, downstairs. And then I went down, tried to invite them, and then we fought. <laughs> in Indonesia, everyone wants to watch the game, but then you see the enemy and then you fight. Pagi-hari minggu tuh pagi-pagi ada telepon, dia masih tidur. Jam 6 tuh, dia lihat. Uh, mandi, habis mandi, pakai baju rapi, pakai minyak wangi. Kata saya, Rim, mau ke mana? Uh, mau ke rumah temen, katanya. Among the maze of alleyways in the southern suburbs of Jakarta live Mira and Siloam Sirla. Their son, Haringa, or Ari, was a Jackmania diehard. Jawa Tengah, ke Surabaya, ke Jogja, ke Solo, selalu nonton. September 23, 2018, Persija Jakarta is playing its arch rivals, Persib Bandung. To head off any violence, Jackmania fans are banned from attending. Saya ya percaya aja biasanya kan kalau nonton bola dia udah siap-siap dari semalam ya pak baju bola apa gitu itu enggak karena dia nontonnya mau ke Bandung. 23-year-old Ari goes to Bandung incognito, hoping to support his beloved Persija. Instead, he is fingered as a Jackmania member by arch-rival Viking fans. He is set upon by a mob. In a few mad minutes, Indonesian football fanaticism claims another life. Saya nggak tega, bu, kalau ingat ke situ, nggak bisa nggak sanggup kayaknya. Lihat anak saya. Kenapa hari seperti itu anak baik jadi sasaran kata saya gara-gara nonton bola padahal anak baik dia nggak cari keributan hanya dia seneng nonton bola bu. Several of the alleged attackers are quickly rounded up by police. Maka kalau ngelihat di foto atau apa, dia ya, kayaknya benci betul gitu. Apalagi kalau misalnya saya ketemu, mungkin lah saya mau langsung pukul atau langsung apalah gitu. Ya kalau perlu emang saya bunuh lagi gitu. In full damage control, the entire league is suspended for a fortnight. Viking fans are banned from attending matches for the rest of the season. The club is forced to play its remaining home games in a closed stadium, 1,300 kilometres away in Kalimantan, Borneo. Memang itu sakit, benar-benar sakit, benar-benar tersiksa lah, terus terang. Karena terus terang, uh, untuk saya pribadi, ini Persib ini ibarat istri-istri kedua, gitu kan. Joko Driono is the vice president of this league under siege. How did you feel when you watched the video of Ari's death for the first time? Yeah, that's so sad that we have fairly, feel very sorry on that, that everybody um, never expecting it will happen and hope that it's the last so, so the case that we want to see. 
you've had dozens of deaths in recent decades. How can you say that no one expected the death of Ari? And so Ari case actually, the league has a policy, no away fans come to Bandung. No one is ex expecting that the uh, Persija fans come to Bandung. Akmal Mahali, the head of local NGO Save Our Soccer, says he would rather see the game shut down than another life lost. Nah, tradisi ini yang uh, sangat buruk sekali di sepak bola Indonesia yang sayangnya federasi tidak punya solusi untuk menyelesaikan sehingga korban nyawa di sepak bola dianggap sebagai hal yang biasa. Haringa was the seventh fan killed at games between Bandung and Jakarta since 2012. Ya, sepak bola sudah jadi kuburan bukan hiburan di Indonesia. 74 supporter sudah meninggal di sepak bola Indonesia. Uh, itu bukan sebuah prestasi, tapi itu sebuah duka mendalam. It's been two months since Ari's death, and while the league has recommenced, its very survival remains on tenterhooks. With two games remaining, Bali United is preparing for a Jackmania invasion. Dutch import Nick van der Velden isn't expecting any trouble. In Bali, uh, you don't need a lot of police because uh, we're one of the most uh, relaxed supporters there, there, there is, you know. They're only about the football game and nothing else, and uh, I like that a lot. At Denpasar Airport, Ari's family have just arrived as guests of Jackmania. Naik kapal deg-degan, saya kan baru kali ini nggak biasa gitu. Sampai cucuk sampai kayak mau nek gitu. Ini baju dari anak-anak apa? Jack and Karen yang buat. Jadi. The match is a sellout. 20,000 fans descending on the Bali Stadium. Well, this is the moment. Thousands of Jackmania fans have made it across the sea to the Island of the Gods, the yeah. home of Bali United. For Jakarta, if they lose this match tonight, well, that's the end of their season. You can feel it in the air, the energy. Luar biasa kehadiran Jackmania di sore hari ini ya kami sangat dengan baik gitu. Kita puas lah. Ya kalaupun Jackmania yang menang, apa-apa gimana permainan. Harus menikmati bola. Ya kita harus menikmati bola. Dan yang penting aman. In Hindu Bali, alcohol is readily available and many are preloading. Most are welcoming, but tension spills over between some rival fans. This is what you call a friendly match in the Indonesian Soccer League. This fight has just broken out. Well, the teams are meant to be mates, their fans are meant to be mates. But as you see, people are trying to tell us to turn off the camera. It's a sensitive issue. They know the league could be shut down. Please, please, no camera, OK? In the wake of Ari's death,
Jackmania leaders called for calm. Another death could see their beloved Liga Satu shut down indefinitely. Makanya tugasnya kita lah para pimpinan, para pengurus untuk mencoba meredam. Gitu. Sebenarnya sih kita nggak nggak inginkan ketika ada lawan yang masuk ke kandang kita, kita pukulin rame-rame. Almarhum Maringa kan termasuk salah satu duka kita ya, duka terbesar dari Jackmania tahun ini. Ya keluarganya pasti juga kehilangan, kita yang bukan keluarga yang merasa kehilangan banget. As the game gets underway, Ari's parents have box seats. Kaingetan, waduh kalau ada anak saya juga nonton, pasti ikut-ikutan senang, rame-rame, keprok-keprok gitu. Ya kayak yang lainnya. Pasija scores first, sending the Jackmania fans wild. Within minutes, it's the Bali United stands that are really set alight. It's not jubilation, but white hot anger. A rumour is spread that the match has been fixed and they are blaming their own team officials. The game is stopped. The match comes back on but only briefly. Mafia dogs, they shout. to cause chaos. It's constant fireworks, flares. I don't know how the players are still going on. Finally, it's full time. Siege of Jakarta 2, Bali United 1. The Bali United fans won't accept the result. They are still livid. Save Our Soccer's Akmal Mahali says match fixing is rife across the league. Stadion sebelum pertandingan mereka sudah tahu hasil hasil pertandingannya dan kemudian terjadi di lapangan. Ini yang kemudian membuat supporter emosi. Sebagai pengaturan skor match fixing ini merupakan salah satu uh, apa namanya uh, penyakit paling kronis di sepak bola Indonesia, kanker tulang yang harus diamputasi. We put it to the league's vice president. How corrupt is Indonesian football? So, so potentially, as you said, corruption and so on. Uh, it may happen in a football and we have to be more strict. Otherwise, we're just turning around and around. It's just never progress. It's the last day of the season. Procedure Jakarta sit atop the table. Ireland. Big day. Big day, big moment, big... Apa ya, semua big lah pokoknya. 
Irland's hardliners will join 80,000 other supporters in a fan mania event of epic proportions. This is what they've been training for. Hari ini Persija dapat poin tiga, juara, angkat piala. Gue berharap harapan kita ini selama 17 tahun, doa teman-teman Jackmania selama 17 tahun, hari ini Persija bisa juara, Persija bisa angkat piala untuk kebanggaan kita. Karena emang setelah seminggu ini kita nggak fokus. Fokusnya ke Persija, yang tadinya kerja udah jadi nggak fokus. Ku kibarkan bendera Persija hari ini. Kickoff. Twenty minutes into the first half, Persija Jakarta is awarded a penalty kick. They take the lead. 1-0. As the second half gets underway, Persija control the field. Jack Mania control the stadium. Outside, the police have lost control. Well, the crowd from outside has busted into the stadium. Fortunately, these fans aren't looking for trouble. Without tickets, they just want to be part of history. So where does this passion come from? Where does this passion for football come from? Uh, football is a working class game. They can escape from what bad things happen in their life. And it's very cheap. Even in some stadium, you don't need to pay any ticket to get into the stadium. With just minutes to go, Persija is holding on. A second goal seals victory. The final score, Persija 2, Mitra Kuka 1. Uh, this one is uh, like uh, after a long time we we are champions, so it's unbelievable. You know, this crowd is amazing. So just, I'm just enjoying it now. <laughs> Awesome. Fans, flares, and silverware. Persija Jakarta 
are champions. For millions of fans here in Indonesia, the idea of no more football is their worst nightmare. That is a distinct possibility unless the league confronts the endemic corruption and fan violence. Sepak bola uh, bukan uh, tempat untuk uh, ajang perang, tapi sepak bola adalah ajang di mana orang kemudian bisa melihat prestasi dan kegembiraan bukan kemudian kedukaan yang ada. Inilah yang kemudian harus dibenahi oleh Federasi Sepak Bola Indonesia bagaimana menjaga keamanan dan kenyamanan supporter untuk bisa menonton sepak bola tidak ada lagi supporter yang meninggal. For now, it's time to party. Jack Mania take to the streets. Tonight, they're celebrating a massive victory and they want everyone to know about it. Ini yang kita tunggu-tunggu 17 tahun. Akhirnya Persija juara walaupun orang memfitnah kita dibilang settingan segala macam terserah mereka. Ku hanya cinta Persija. Yeah. Yeah.